I'd start the uh, video off with a nice little cold start. Um, we are actually in Lewiston, Idaho this weekend, uh, visiting some friends, but I uh, found out that there was going to be a Cars and Coffee in town, so I figured we'd head over there with the new wheels and check that out now that we can show off a better looking car, and uh, I doubt there's any prices or anything cool like that, but it'll be cool to see some of the cars, so I figured I'd take you guys with me. Let's go. So we finally made it here a little bit late but that's okay finally got us some coffee and this actually isn't too bad of a cars and coffee we got quite a bit of cars not a whole lot over there but got the sti quite a few muscle cars lots of imports there is an rx7 here i'm gonna show you guys but i wish we did this a lot more where i live but it seems like you got to travel anymore to a bigger city to see this kind of stuff but they have got quite a bit here Oh, a couple never mind. of fair ladies I here. Brushes growing up around them and stuff like that. Shit. And that one's one to be picked up. Very good. Take much. I'm like, dang. I need like the one that gets me is take the nice little one. RS. Oh, oh yeah, that hurts so bad. My arms like locked up like that. Finally found another Subi. There isn't too many over here. seen an one other one in person and we used to be a Mazda dealer where I work so I got to actually drive it it was all stock but it was still fun and I get to say I drove you know a RX-7 but this one actually is really clean no wing but it is a left-hand drive beautiful though Interesting wrap. That makes some noise. It's not a bad Chevelle here. The color is beautiful. And then there's guys out there doing burnouts, ruining it for everybody. Go to Cars and Coffee. Don't act. much as it sounds good it just ruins it so those of you that have been watching the channel for a while know that we actually have one of these cars it's a 41 chev ours is a business coupe i'm not sure what this one is um, it is special deluxe trim but i don't know exactly what uh model i guess um, but this is what ours would have looked like, my father-in-law's, if it was all done to factory. Lots of chrome. Beautiful car. But, uh, obviously ours isn't going to look like that. It's going to have a lot more power, lower to the ground. Like I said, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen it. It's actually a, uh, I want to say, 55 Ford. Mine's a 54, but um, it's not a bad looking truck. It's 
so really hard to get that wood looking good, but we're not doing that on mine. But I do like the fact that it's got shaved door handles, modern interior. Looks like it actually has air conditioning in it too. Maybe someday mine can look that nice, but for now it sits in the garage. <laughs> well, I have lost the ladies and my daughter, so looks like everybody's leaving anyway, so I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here. We are uh, got a four hour drive back home, so uh, Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, so we were on our way home and I found one really cool spot I wanted to show you guys real quick where they got a cool bunch of old memorabilia all over. Got all kinds of cool old signs, a bunch of old gas station stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna get a picture snapped real quick before anybody gets mad at me. And uh, again, guys, you have a good one. See you in the next one.